Hi everybody, it's Mark the Flicking Feathers again today. Uh, time for you. a very simple salt water popper. Really easy, really quick. You can knock up a dozen in just time and have your box well supplied. Um, the hook I'm using is the Mustard CK 74SS. And this is a 2 aught and I'll be using a Rainey's Popper Saltwater Popper in medium, which is fitted fitted to the 2 aught hook. So I'm just going to run on a bed of thread. Any old thread will do really. Take it to just past the barb, eh, past the point of the hook, sorry. And then I'm going to grab the, my first bunch of bucktail. About half a pencil. And just take out any of the short or low quality fibres. And there's a slight curve in that, so I'm just going to sort of roll the fibres together to sort of line, line them up so that they're sort of curving into each other to straighten out the clump. And then, as my tying in point, I'll just let the, the deer hair go slightly around the shank and tie it down. Good, nice tight wraps. Then I'll trim away the waist. Then I'll tidy up. Then I'm going to add some flash. I'm using a H2O twist from the Fly Tires Dungeon. It's basically crystal flash, but you get a, a really nice long material. Uh, and I've got about four or five strands. And I'll just catch that and leave it. About three quarters of an inch longer than the bucktail. Fold the tag end over, tie it in centre on top and to the side, and then get them all together and cut it at different lengths. And you can just, if you want a bit more, you could come in and tie that, and I'm not going to bother. I quite like that. And then, just to sort of finish off the tail, I'm going to add a slightly smaller second clump. You don't, you don't really need to. You, you could easily just leave it at that. But I like to, I like to tie two. If I was tying by a mullet pattern, white and grey, then it'd be tying two. So even though this is a single colour, I still. I always just tie them the same way. It makes you a bit more efficient. Right, so that's that's the tail tied in. I'll trim this at an angle. That will help to have a put a bit of a taper into the thread base. And I'll run my thread back to the to Bob's eye the hook. You don't need to go all the way back. Just just so there's a bed of thread that lets the the glue grip. Couple of quick quick finishes. Draw away your excess. 
You can use various things um, to attach it. You could use epoxy. I'm going to use a gel type super glue because the kink shank um, saves you any trouble with like of the popper moving or whatever. And the rainies are have a hole down the centre, so they can't look, they can't spring off. So you don't need a huge amount of glue. Um, I just want a wee bead from slightly behind the start of the tine thread to just where the just beyond the kink because it'll be it'll kind of get pushed and smeared back as you um, as you push the head on and then just you see it there you can kind of twist it and wiggle it and just keep going and then when it's in push it back and that's you if you've got a bit of excess glue which I have I'll just come in with my bodkin and sort of make sure it's not bunched up at one side and then just sort of set the angle of the tail the way I like it and that's basically the popper all that's left to do is add eyes you can decorate it with marker pens if you like so I'm just going to use some flat tape eyes white, these are 7 mil. you could go a bit bigger if you like so I've pre-creased the eye to help it take, follow the curve of the popper blank and I've just given it a wee blob of uh, a wee blob of super glue then I'll just stick it on and that's it obviously I would repeat the same on the other side but that's that's a simple salt water popper good inshore and offshore tie them in a range of colours to suit tie them a bit bigger, a bit smaller, whichever it whichever you like depending on the fish you're targeting so I hope that was useful I hope that you've learned something and enjoyed it um, if it was don't forget to like give me a thumbs up below subscribe to my channel and share the videos um, so that I can keep these coming for you thanks very much for watching guys Pet lines, bye